The following is a special presentation. It's time for the Campus Feud! Introducing the members of our campus resident assistants at Bethany College, Kayla, Brandon, Dakota, Michael, and Emily, ready for action. And introducing the members of Phi Kappa Ta fraternity, Mike, Caleb, Tyler, Andrew, and Lucas, on your marks! Let's start the campus feud! And here's your host for campus feud, Carlo Guadagnino! All right, welcome to Campus Feud. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a college version of Family Feud. We have Hope College here, the lacrosse team, showed up. Um, residence life, Phi Ta. Phi Ta was talking a lot at the beginning of this. They were talking a lot. They win all championships. They do, that's what they said. I heard it. I heard, I heard it. Um, basically, here's the rules. First one to 300 points makes it to the speed round. You win the speed round, you get one of those lovely buckets. Here. Basically, that, if you've ever seen it, three strikes goes to the other team or the other team, and they get a chance to steal. If they don't, first round or the first three rounds are single points. Third or fourth round is double. Fifth and sixth, I think, is triple, and then you go to the speed rounds. So uh, before we do anything else, let's meet everybody. So we'll start. Do you want to start, Seaman? No, I'm going to start over here. All right, so residence life, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you, well, I'm going to hold the microphone and you introduce yourself, okay? My name's Kayla, I'm a RA in Cochrane. So you probably had a really good night last night. <laughs> yeah. Brandon Trin, good night. You definitely had a good night last night. <laughs> I wasn't in there. You. Michael Springer, Cochrane. Cochran, how was that? Living the dream. Always. As you should. Always. Dakota Cotzel, CV4. The Dakota Cotzel is the voice of Bethany baseball, football, and everything else that you can listen to. Um, Emily Lamantai, CV3. All right. Oh, CV3, any holes? A lot of holes. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I live on the hill. It's honestly the truth. I'll go over here. Hey, I'm Mike Shatton. I'm president of FITA. How was everything last night? Everything's all right. Too bad. You guys were a little rowdy on Friday, I heard you. <laughs> uh, Daniel Seaman. Nothing else, Seaman. That, that's all you want to You don't want to introduce, say hello to somebody. Wait, hello. I'm the treasurer. That's about it. There's not a whole lot to tell. <laughs> so modest. How's it going? Andrew Parsons, Bethany LaCrosse. Oh, 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 my. Oh, a little, a little dangerous here. Hi, Caleb Wilson, also Phi Capital and WVVC Radio. Lucas Liriano, Phi Capital Associate, Bethany Track and Field. Or somebody give him a better applause than that. That was one. Come on, everybody clap for Lucas. There you go. <laughs> Eric, will you tell us who the sponsors are? I know you, 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 you've been waiting. Absolutely. I've got a cavalcade of sponsors, actually. Tonight's show is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, and sports like Krispy Kreme Donuts. Happy all around with the hot donut experience. By Mast Awards for all your celebration needs. By Papa John's, better ingredients, better pizza, Papa John's. By the Crooked Dock, the dock is always rocking. By JD Engraving, your one-stop gift shop. By Jimmy John's, freaky fast delivery. By Chick-fil-A, eat more chicken, folks. By Kroger, a supermarket close to home. By the Bethany College Bookstore for all your academic wants and much more. And of course, none of this would be possible without the tireless efforts of the folks at the Bethany College Broadcasting Network, including BCTV Channel 14 and the BBN Online for Bethany College. Take it away, Carlo. Thanks, Eric. So the winner of this game will play the winner of Phi Mu Sigma Nu. And uh, Delton Beta will play, well, the winner of that one will play the winner of Zeta and Alpha Sigma. I see Zeta just made it, so.
You ready? You ready? Let's play the feud. 100 people surveyed, the top eight answers on the board. Name the one thing you wish you could change about your significant other. That's one of your, that, the, time out, that's one of your brothers, isn't it? Is there, is, hold on, is there something that you, that, that's going to be, you're going to get in trouble for that, I think. Ooh. Uh, survey says. Well, for those of you that don't know, one of two clingy. So just remember that. Personality? Show me personality! <laughs> All right, pass or play? We'll play. <laughs> Name one thing that you would change about your significant other and be careful. They're friends. They're friends. <laughs> Name one thing you would change about your significant other. Their family. I'm not touching that one. Go to the survey. Go. No, I'm sorry. I'm not up there. All right, Dakota. If you don't get this, they Fito has a chance to steal. Name the one thing you wish you could change about your significant other. How far they live. <laughs> Their distance. <laughs> Same rules apply. Two strikes. Name the one thing you wish you could change about your significant other. His job. Looking for money, huh? A little, a little bit more. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Name the one thing you wish you could change significant other. Their hobbies? Show me hobbies? Hobbies or interests? Let's see number eight. Number six. Number four. Number two. Judges, is that really? Number one. Number We don't make we don't try to make sense here, we just go with it. 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Name a reason a person might make fun of your outfit. Jealousy. <laughs> Survey says? Dan? Um, like inadequate fit, maybe? Like not fitting properly? Like too small? Like, like, small, maybe too like big guy, small shirt, yeah. or small guy, yeah. big shirt. Okay. Not fitting. Pass or play? We'll play. This audience, they're crazy. They're crazy. They are. Name, a Name a reason a person might make fun of the outfit that you have on. 
not wearing an outfit. <laughs> Going naked. <laughs> it's never accepted. It's never accepted. Some people like that answer. There you go. Name a reason a person might make fun of your outfit. The color. The color you're wearing. One strike on the board. Name a reason somebody might make fun of what you're wearing. It's dirty or you stink. Smelly. Nobody wants to be the smelly. Three more answers on the board. Name a reason that somebody might make fun of your outfit. It's out of style. Outdated. Outdated. No. I thought it might be. Thought it might be. All right, Dan, we're back. Name a reason somebody might make fun of your outfit, Dan. Uh, it doesn't match, like bad feng shui. Bad feng shui. Name a reason, Parsons. Someone make, might, might make fun of your outfit. You're underdressed? Underdressed. Underdressed? <laughs> All right, hold on. We're going to go over to them. There's a lot of points up there. Do I have to add those up? Yeah. You better start adding those up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One answer left on the board. Name a reason someone may, might make fun of your outfit. You're wearing yesterday's clothes. You're wearing yesterday's clothes. <laughs> My talk with the win. <laughs> oh, number six. <laughs> Bree. Bree Steak. Number three. Carlo, all answers will be doubled now. As Eric said, the points in this round are doubled. Still 100 people were surveyed. Uh, the top six answers are on the board. Name a reason to stay in on a Friday night. The hungover from Thursday night. Show me hungover! You gotta study. Show me study. <laughs> Pass or play? We're gonna play. Seventy-nine to twenty, and Fightal has the board. Name a reason to stay in on a Friday night. Television. You want to watch TV? Name a reason one might stay in on a Friday night. You're going to play video games? <laughs> video games. I feel like I've been down here a couple times. Name a reason that you might stay, stay in on a Friday night. The weather. The weather. <laughs> All right, Simon, your fans are waiting for it. Name a reason that you might stay in on a Friday night. You're broke. <laughs> you have no money. All right, Parson, you started this off. Name a reason that you might stay in on a Friday night. You got a game the next day. You have a game the next day. Uh, 
Has anybody heard of the 48-hour rule? Parson wants to know. Anybody? Anybody? It doesn't look like it. Name a reason you'd stay in on a Friday night. With your lady friend. Nice, quiet night alone with your lady friend. We're going to go over there for them. For, the, for them. I'll be back. All right, you guys ready? Big points up there. Name a reason to stay in on a Friday night. Too tired. You're too tired to go out. Number six. How are you staying in if you're the designated driver? Number one. Let's go. Two more. I'm waiting to see the scores, folks. My math skills aren't what they used to be. 207 to 20. Oh, RAs, you guys better make a comeback. The points in this round are also double. 100 points, or 100 people surveyed, the top five answers are on the board. Name the one class in college that no one wants to take. Show me public speaking with Eric Sprouse. Name the one class in college you nobody wants to take. Calculus. Calculus. <laughs> no strikes on the board. Name the, name the one class in college that no one wants to take. Literature. I agree. <laughs> Still no strikes. Name the one class in college that no one wants to take. Chemistry. I would agree with you, chemistry's a little rough. One class in college no one wants to take. Religion. Religion! Just remember, two strikes. If you miss, Fito has a chance to steal and probably take the game. Maybe. Name one in the class that, in college that no one wants to take. Physics. Physics! <laughs> RAs, that might have been the last chance. Fito, you ready? Name one thing, or one class, in college that no one wants to take. Jim. Jim! Let's look at number five. Number five. Number four. Two hundred seven to one one ninety. Is that what we got? The points in this round are tripled. Hundred people surveyed. The top four answers are on the board. Let's make it quadrupled. Let's make it quadrupled. Are you just just to make it interesting? We'll are make you it doing that math? What's that? Are you doing that math? No, I got Lauren. That's what she's for. Okay. I teach public speaking. No one wants to see me. Let's just make it quadrupled. Right. Quadruple the points. Top four answers on the board, 100 people surveyed. Name a reason for college students to go Greek. To make friends. I 
I thought so. Name a reason to, for a college student to go Greek. Networking. Networking. Fonta, you're in danger. Name a reason a college student goes Greek. The parties, man. Now, I know that all the Greeks here would never party. We're all about our philanthropy. Let's see if it's up there. Party. One answer left. Name a reason a college student goes Greek. Uh, st studying. I don't know. <laughs> to study. <laughs> I've been studying for six years. <laughs> One strike. One answer. Name some, name a reason a college student goes Greek. Flame for peace. For the philanthropies. Two strikes. Ita's got the chance to steal over there in their huddle. Name a reason a college student goes Greek. To get better grades. Better grades. Come on, Fido, I need you. I need you here. Name one reason for a college student to go Greek. The experience. The experience. <laughs> Number three. Hold on. Hey, uh, judges, there is some discrepancy about whether that fun is an experience. The fun can be an experience, Carlo, but that doesn't mean the experience is always fun. All right, well, we're going to take a commercial break. We're going to take a commercial break. I'm going to have two of the RAs come out here for the speed round. Five tall, it was lovely to have you. Come here. It was lovely to have all of you. It was great having you. Great having you. Thank you. We'll be right back. So who do you think you are? Walk through these gates and you'll find out. It'll take, oh, four years. Four years of rigorous academics, of grand tradition, citizenship, of making friends for life, and let's not forget, having fun. While you're doing all this, we have a job too, to ensure your success. And make no mistake, we're good at it. Welcome to Bethany, a small college of national distinction. We believe in tradition. You'll walk through the Ogilvy Gates only twice, as a freshman and as a graduate. You'll sign our book of matriculation on your first day. Greek life is as old as we are. As for the campus, you'll see the history of it all in the architecture. And here's something else you might notice. It's beautiful here. All 1,300 acres. Go explore and be inspired. Once again, welcome to Bethany. We believe in liberal arts. We do it our way simply because we've been so very successful. Employers want our grads, so do graduate schools. 98% of our grads get good jobs or into graduate school within a year. That's awesome. Nearly 100% of our pre-med students get into medical school. That's off the charts. But whatever your major, you will learn to become a leader a critical thinker, and a problem solver. And that's what the real world is looking for. Through the years, we purposely kept our enrollment small to guarantee each and every one of you personal attention, a 13 to one student faculty ratio. As for our faculty, they will not only be your teachers, but your confidants, friends, and mentors. They come from all over the world, but they do have one thing in common, a passion to see you succeed. As for you athletes, we are the Bison, Division Three with a vengeance. 
You can tell by the hardware behind our glass cases and the banners hanging from the rafters. We believe in competition. And whether you play one of our 22 varsity sports on our numerous intramural teams or the equestrian club team, it would be very Bethanian of you to leave it all on the field. Actors, musicians, singers, painters, sculptors, you've come to the right place. We have terrific performing and visual arts programs and an accomplished faculty you'll truly relate to. So if you're dying to get to the next level, know that we're dying to get you there. So four years from now, we'll be asking you the same question. Who do you think you are? And when you walk through those gates for the last time, you'll know. Simply put, you are what you think. That's huge. And you're welcome. Bethany, a small college of national distinction. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the RA has won in a comeback fashion. Brandon, how'd you feel about that? It was awesome. Kick ass. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a family show, man. This is a family show. Ass means donkey. Uh, you know what? I'm not. As long as nobody's up there who's upset, I'm going to stay with that. All right. We're going to do a speed round. 20 seconds. Put them on a clue. Those going to be on the clock up there. I'm going to read the, when the clock will start at the end of this. If you repeat it, or if you get the right answer when we get through it, you'll hear this sound. If you get a wrong answer, you'll hear this sound. Pretty self-explanatory. 20 seconds on the clock. Clock starts when I start, when I finish the first question. Lights. You ready? Name something you wish you had walking back late from the bar. Knife. Name something you do on spring break. Sleep. Name something you do to stay awake in class. Drink coffee. Name the one thing you need to, in college to succeed. Money. Name an off-brand food you buy because it's cheap. Uh, cheesy squares. All right, all right, turn around. Come on, we'll turn around. We're gonna look. We're gonna take a minute. How'd you feel about this? It was interesting. All right, well, here's the first question. Do you have anybody you want to say hello to? I got nobody. I got nobody. You don't have a special lady friend or anything that you want to just, you know, hi, how are you, sweetheart? She doesn't watch TV. Good for her. I don't watch TV. I'm, watch, I'm watching a blank screen right now. Um, so what's it like, truthfully, to be an RA? It's not hassling at all. It's really not that bad of a job. Well, it's got to be easy when there's only like 600 people or 700 people here. I mean, there's not too many people to take care of, especially when you're in a small building. Are we ready up there? All right. First question. Name something you wish you had walking back late from the bar. You said... A knife. <laughs> Survey set. I heard some good answers back there, so it's not just you. Name something you do on spring break. You said sleep. Survey said? That's good help. Okay? Good help. Name something you do to stay awake in class. You said drink coffee. I know this got to be high. Survey said? Name the one thing you need to succeed in college. You said money. You have to pay for it somehow. Survey said? <laughs> Name an off-brand food you buy because it's cheap. You said cheese squares. Survey said. I didn't think it was going to be up there. That was a good one. You go over there, join your team. Go get Dakota. Lights back on, please.
Come here, Dakota. Dakota, your partner Brandon over there, he got you 78 points. All right, I can do this. Can you need 122 for the, uh, for, the, for the fast money. I started the first comeback. Well, let me explain this to you. First off, fast money is the, the bucket behind me because, well, it would not be in good form to give out $20,000 to a, a single team. So, and we don't have those kind of funds to pull at this moment. But uh, you'll get one of those nice buckets and maybe a flag or a shirt. You, we'll get you some nice things. You're going to have 25 seconds because it's a little harder. I'm going to read you the same five questions. If you duplicate an answer, you'll hear this. This <laughs> means you've got to give me another answer. You ready to go? Yep. Everybody out there ready? Yeah. Lights. Here we go. Clock will start as soon as I read the first question. Name something you wish you had walking back late from the bar. A partner. Name something you do on spring break. Go to Florida. With your partner? Name something you do to stay awake in class. Uh, have caffeine. Name the one thing you need. Oh. Pass. Name the one thing you need to succeed in college. Good time management. Good time management. Name, the, name an off-brand food you buy because it's cheap. Uh, cola, like non-Coke, Pepsi, off-brand pop. Off-brand pop. All right, name something you do to stay awake in class. I'll have a snack, food. All right, come on, turn around. This is your camera here. Here, move over. Come over on the X here, bud. Right there. There you go. All right. So I said, name something you wish you had walking back late from the bar. And you want somebody to be there with you, huh? She's got to be pretty tall. I mean, you're pretty tall. That's right. There's a couple of them. Zeta's got some tall people. I've seen them. They're on the volleyball team. Five Mew's got some tall people. Obviously, he's not here, but I'm sure they got tall people. There's independent girls. There's a lot of people out there, man. Get out. Jump out. Are we ready? Remind everybody of Brandon's answers. Really? I'd say We're not it's. To kill him. That, all right, all right. Are we ready? Name. I said, name something you wish you had walking back late from the bar. You said a partner. Survey said. Ride was the number one answer. Ride was the number one answer. Name something you do on spring break. You said vacation. Survey said sleep. Sleep was the number one. I don't know what you guys are doing on spring break that you're sleeping, but name something you do to stay awake in class. You said snack. Survey said I like a snack every once in a while. Name the one thing you need to succeed in college. You said time management. Survey said number one answer. Thirty-seven points, and Dakota gets a buck. Well, Dakota and the RAs get a bucket. Name an off-brand food you buy because it's cheap. You said cola, liter of cola. Survey said. All right, so no win for you here, but we're gonna, we're gonna, you guys are gonna get to go back to the green room and we're gonna continue this. Well, the number one answer for that was cereal. Cereal was the number one answer for name an off-brand food you buy because it's cheap. Uh, but that's everything we have from the family or for the campus view, uh, for everybody that was involved in it. Thank you for watching and watch us again next time.